Hello, welcome back to the channel, and it might be a couple days before I can get this onto YouTube, so it'll be pre-recorded, and yada yada, and today we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you how to remove the filter off a civilian duty respirator. Now, I'm, I hope this is, like, just so you can put tape on the filter, and preferably not to make it a Sid Wilson kind of thing, because I absolutely loathe you if you do that, because you're destroying it, but... Because I need to put some tape on the filter because the tape I originally had is all yucky and wasn't put on very well. So, you see, so we want to get a flathead screwdriver. And you want to have this buckle. And then you want to flip the mask over so you can see this end of the buckle here, right there. And then it's very simple. All you've got to do is try I'm trying to do this with one hand. Hold up. Get my feet. Alright. There we go. And then you want to pull it, and it should just instant release. Like that. Then you want to. So hard to do this with one here. Then you've got this clamp, and then you got to pull this out of the mask like that. See? And then you got a Sid Wilson one, I guess. I don't like Sid Wilson masks because you're destroying history. But you get the picture. It looks like one. And then, let me just put the straps back inside the mask so they don't get any more damaged. So then we've got the filter, the clamp, and this. And because I said that I was going to be... Give me a minute, I forgot something. Alright, I'm back. I forgot scissors, so... Like I said, I'm going to be putting tape on this end of the filter. And... Quick sneak peek of what the inside of it looks like. Very yucky. It's very sticky as well from the old tape. So, I need to find the... End... Of it. Found it. This is going to be a little longer than expected. Mm. That's not what I wanted. Come on. Actually, I'll use my feet as well to hold it down. Get out of here. There you go, fresh start. So, you want to get your tape. Hold up. There's the tape. I think it might be a bit too long, hold up. I think that's better length. And then just put it over the filter. Preferably this end, because I'm pretty sure this is the end with the asbestos in it. But I could be wrong. And to be on the safe side, we'll grab 
more. But going opposite way. Get out of here and leave. Alright. Yep, that's perfect. And then just put it like that. And then boom. Now I use clear tape so I can see the details better. But this is good if you want to maybe tape up an asbestos filter or put a reproduction filter in, like a 3D printed one in. Or you want to make it a slip. Not a gas mask. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, so that's how you remove it and then you, and then you, if you want to put it back on, you just slide it into here. Hold up, give me a minute. I'm going to have to do this because it requires pretty much two hands. And hopefully you can see that and then you just kind of kind of pull it over the filter. Like so. There we go. That is looking good, like that. And then you want to get the clamp from earlier. This is how I do it. People might do it other other ways, but this is how I do it. And you want to kind of slide it along. Because I have like a... There we go. And then, you have the flutter valve out of the way. And then, get it all lined up. Put uh, that there. And then you want to just keep tightening it. Hopefully you can see this. And just push it down. I don't know why, but it's... Oh, that's the reason why it's not going down. Because it's not in the little slot. Hold up. Push that there. Perfect. And there we go. That's how you take on and off a civilian duty respirator filter. And... The inside of it looks, if I can get the straps out of the way, so much better. So, thank you for watching. This has been how to remove and take, how to remove and replace the filter on a civilian duty respirator. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.